Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we can have a look at the latest from the live radar run through the UK V, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. So it's looking increasingly likely that we go very dry and mild, uh, if not even warm, this weekend with temperatures reaching in excess of 15 degrees, could be even seeing as high as 17 or 18 as higher pressure builds in from the south. We'll then have a look at the longer range with the GFS, GM, ESMWF and the ensembles as we are continuing to watch what is happening over Scandinavia. Higher pressure looks likely to build up there towards the middle of next week, trying to push colder air into Europe. But it's how successful that Scandinavian high is will, depend, uh, will, will decide the weather we do get. Now at the moment, the majority of models have the consensus that the westerly winds will win out, that we will mainly stay in generally average air masses, nothing particularly cold at all. But the Scandinavian high looks like it's just going to be sitting around. So it's highly likely over the course of the next few weeks it does play some uh, quite a significant role in our weather, whether it's slowing down the jet stream, creating low pressure systems that halt and stall, that dive to our south uh, and trying to push colder air in from the east uh, and could potentially turn us very cold towards the end of the month. But got to keep an eye on it. For the time being though, I must say though, that we are going to remit, be remaining fairly average for this time of year throughout the next week or two. Yes, there is a big Scandinavian high building. Yes, cold air is pushing into Eastern Europe, but it will not be impacting the UK uh, anytime soon. It's something we need to keep an eye on in the longer range, sort of the 10 day to 20 day time frame uh, towards the end of the month. Again, it does follow on very interestingly from our winter look aheads, which did allude to this fact quite significantly. Um, uh, the fact of blocking to our north and it does definitely look like there is quite a big blocking trend near and around the Arctic so that is something to keep an eye on for the time being at least in the mid-range to short range we're going to be remaining fairly unsettled and westerly apart from the next two or three days where it does look likely it will remain drier and warmer so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description so do start on the live radar you can see there is precipitation pushing into the far west of scotland a bit across parts of republic of ireland as well and this is a big weather front that is pushing eastwards but it's getting stalled by the higher pressure that is building in. It's actually going to get reversed and pushed back out into the Atlantic over the course of the next 24 hours as it fizzles away. And we're all going to be really quite dry in the next two days. Saturday and Sunday look really widely dry, coinciding, of course, with the weekend. And temperatures could be in excess of 15 degrees quite widely. Uh, so warm and dry for the middle of November, but it does look likely on Monday. Weather front will be pushing in eastwards. So maybe Sunday evening into early hours of Monday. Weather front arriving for parts of the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and South West England pushing eastwards over the course of Monday and could see kind of being deluged through Monday and Tuesday, perhaps through central areas. So turning much more unsettled next week. Now, if you put on the temperatures, I'm recording this just before midday, you can see a lot of the yellows around. So very mild, even a tinge of orange there, showing temperatures in excess of 15 degrees. So really quite mild with this higher pressure building in. Um, really, really mild. And you can see there is bitterly cold air to our north. Look along our latitude all the way into Canada, where it's uh, well below freezing now, and eastwards into parts of Russia and Eastern Asia, well below freezing. We're in this slice in northwest Europe. Of very mild air, uh, but it will be cooling down next week with a northwesterly flow, be turning much cooler uh, and more unsettled. So, yeah, temporarily very mild over the next few days, but it will not hang around too long next week. Back unsettled, uh, potentially again that Scandinavian high building in in sort of the mid range. If you now go over to the UK V and see what that is showing over the next couple of weeks in terms of precipitation and temperature, you can see that rain band pushing in but fizzling away and getting pushed back out into the Atlantic over the course of this evening into tomorrow. And then Saturday is widely dry and quite sunny in central and eastern areas. As we move into Sunday, again another dry day, but through Sunday afternoon, weather front approaching from the west into the evening, turning quite heavy across parts of the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland and South West England, and into Monday. That precipitation moves further east, with giving a bit of rain and thicker cloud for Tuesday, a big deluge moves in, maybe a bit of a school line developing there, a bit of orange lines showing a colline convection, pushing in through Tuesday and Wednesday, so widely very unsettled into the middle of next week and again you can see that by looking at the pressure look a lot of low pressure around down to sort of 980 millibars out to the northwest of scotland if you look out over the next couple of days we're up to 228 millibars in the southeast so 
big, big contrast in pressure over the course of the next sort of three, four, five days. So higher pressure over the next couple of days before being replaced by very uh, unsettled lower pressure. And again, the air masses will be flipping quite a bit. 10, 11, 12 degrees at end of HPA through Saturday and see middle of next week down to minus one minus two so a good 10 to 15 degree temperature drop at the end of the hpa temperature level you'd think would be going very cold but actually we're very mild just telling just to around or slightly below average in reality um if we do put on the temperatures you'll be able to see it's going to be very mild this weekend but we're turning uh, quite a bit cooler next week you see this afternoon temperatures in excess of 15 degrees quite widely up to maybe 16 or 16 or 17 across the midlands and northern england into tomorrow's temperatures overnight not dropping away all too much maybe 16 17 degrees across parts of the south on saturday accompanied by some sunshine and similarly into sunday as well maybe 15 16 17 degrees again looking very mild but it's into monday where things change like a monday afternoon maybe 14 or 15 across the far southeast but widely back towards the low teens maybe 8 9 10 degrees and into tuesday look at the high temperature widely 10 maybe 11 so really quite cool uh, and not particularly uh, much more seasonable really and feeling cold under that rain band and again you can see across the republic of ireland some areas at the high of five six seven eight degrees take a cloud of rain keeping those temperatures really quite low so yeah much more seasonable cooler feel next week so enjoy the mild warmish sort of conditions over the course of this weekend now, if you go into the longer range, I've looked at the GFS, GM, Eastern WBF, and the ensembles. Now, you can see at the moment so we've got a southwesterly flow, higher pressure is building in, and a warm southerly for the weekend. However, into next week, that high pressure moves towards Scandinavia, and the Scandinavian high starts to develop, but we go into a westerly flow with low pressure running in. Now, this is where we get the battleground. We've got big Scandinavian high to our east, easterly winds trying to push in, cold air trying to get taken out from Russia and Siberia. Look, all that cold air trying to get pushed into Eastern Europe, but milder Atlantic flows. Yes, you've got cold air exiting out of North Greenland, uh, past the Great Reader to Northern Canada, but it's just fueling the lows. Um, and if we do watch it, you can see the Scandinavian high holds on, but eventually low pressure winds out and we go more westerly. But that higher pressure never disappears from Scandinavia. Temporarily, it might dissipate, but another high builds in the longer term towards Scandinavia. Yes, we remain fairly mild, but it's this consistent signal of higher pressure and blocking up towards Scandinavia, Svalbard, maybe into the Arctic and Greenland that we're still seeing on the GFS. So yes, the GFS run today, not showing anything cold, nothing else the abnormal. We're generally quite westerly with a lot of low pressure and unsettled conditions, maybe even some stormy conditions at times, but that blocking is still there. And as I said, if it recurs, at some point it will orientate into a position where we could go cold. It's very interesting, uh, it's something to keep an eye on. Again, if we look at the Northern Hemisphere view, you can see loads of these lobes of polar the vortex getting sort of moved around by high pressure systems, um, which does mean that some areas could be going very cold towards the end of the month. You can see, if we go run it all the way back, you can see all the blues and um, purples are all towards Northern Canada, Greenland at, uh, at the day 10 time frame. Again, that might not happen, but it's just a, an example of where the tropospheric polar vortex is all together. But if you run right towards the end, you can see it's all getting separated out. And those are all lobes of very cold air. So the potential is for one of those to head towards Eastern Europe, maybe Scandinavia, and that could start to impact, impact the UK in the longer term. But I must emphasize, sort of in the reliable time frame, we're just going mild uh, and generally unsettled, or at least average temperatures and unsettled the longer term outlook with a lot of high pressure blocking around not only seeing it in the winter look heads but appearing in the mid-range models that could produce something interesting towards the end of the month and start of december now if you go over to the gm see how that does compare again the high pressure building in at the moment heading towards scandinavia we staying fairly westerly and unsettled but you can still see easterly winds trying to push in and that high pressure stays all the way there until day 10. uh it's not producing anything cold the easterly winds quite slack in fact it's going all the way through down to the mediterranean then up so it's actually getting warmed quite significantly that air mass but it's showing us a big wall and in this scenario it actually turns very unsettled um, and rainy because what would happen is low pressure systems would come up against the high stall and dump all its rain on the UK so that could be quite an unsettled and rainy pattern again it's something to keep an eye on it's another way that Scandinavian highs can impact our weather another way that blocking can impact us by just keeping stationary lows over the top of us so it's something to keep an eye on and again we look at the upper air temperature you see cold air is spreading into eastern Europe below average but it's not quite 
as cold. It's not quite that cold. Uh, it's not quite reaching the UK, really. So, interesting signs again from the GM. Still producing that Scandinavian height day 10. Another sign that this blocking is here to stay. Nothing being produced at the moment, showing anything significant cold by any means, but the potential is there, as we have alluded to on the winter look aheads. If we do go over to the ECMWF, see how that does compare over to day 10. Again, high pressure building at the moment, heading towards Scandinavia, going very unsettled, and quite a brisk easily developing with quite cold air. Uh, in, in it, you look at that, minus 10 ice firm pushing into parts of Eastern Europe, maybe into Scandinavia, so really quite chilly, um, and it's trying to push towards the UK, but we just see low pressure running in off the Atlantic. The high pressure remains there, even pushing up towards Svalbard a little bit, but nothing significant, very similar to the GFS, where the high pressure's there, the blocking's there, but we remain on a westerly outlook. It's just something to keep an eye on. So, for the time being, um, Yes, we've got very interesting things going on within the atmosphere, especially towards Scandinavia with high pressure building in. But for the actual weather in the UK, it's staying unsettled. Uh, an average sort of conditions for the winds coming from the west, but originating from northern Canada and Greenland. So it's quite a cold air originally getting warmed up by the Atlantic, spinning up the lows, giving us generally average conditions. You can see that by looking at the temperature deviations, sort of flip-flopping between milder and colder sectors, typical of a westerly Atlantic flow. Now, if we do have a look at the ensembles to finish the video, starting on the uh, look at the GFS today, you can see very mild at the moment, around 10, maybe as high as 15 degrees at age 50 HP over the next 24 hours, a good 10 to maybe as high as 12 degrees above average. We trend much more towards average towards the start of next week, around Monday, Tuesday time, big precipitation coming in as well. And you can see the upper end temperatures generally around, slightly above, slightly below average for the foreseeable future. High precipitation showing very unsettled, and you'd think there's no indication really here of anything majorly cold, or at least gathering even high, and that's why sometimes the ensembles can be misleading when they are showing just the upper air temperatures and precipitation, because from the here, you just think we're in a sort of a west to northwesterly flow, and that is the pattern, but in the general uh, northern hemisphere, atmospheric sort of pressure patterns, we are quite blocked, uh, and the potential is there in the longer term for something considerably cold. So we've got to keep an eye on that, uh, but for the time being, generally average and very unsettled. Temperatures at the surface would actually be quite cold. You can see that the upper air temperatures are dropping from around, uh, the surface temperatures, sorry, are dropping from around 15 degrees, highs down towards 8, 9, 10. So pretty chilly. Again, probably around average, maybe slightly below average for this time of year, but generally uh, chilly and then you can look at the sea level pressure you can see very high at the moment dropping and maybe rising in the longer term again all depending on that scandinavian high and again keep it on the dew points which generally do drop as well showing slightly cooler air masses or even cold air masses pushing in if we get that dew point down towards freezing so still very interesting signs nothing coming off i must emphasize we are remaining fairly westerly in the mid-range um fairly unsettled uh, and generally temperatures around average for the time of year but the interesting atmospheric conditions are continuing scads even high built again and it looks like it's there to stay it's not transient scan even high it's looking likely it could stay there for a number of days and it could sort of rebuild in like the gfs was showing um so yeah we'll have to keep an eye on that towards the end of the month as i keep saying it does have backing from the winter loggerheads which have both uh, which all of them have really been showing blocking to our north uh, the colder starts the winter is what we'd see from a typical el nino uh, sorry, sorry sorry from a la nina pattern which we have at the moment so it is all sort of fitting together, but we'll have to see what happens. Again, all the longer range indications are for potentially cold weather towards the start of the winter. We're seeing blocking. So yes, it could come off, but I'm only going to say it will come off if we get into the shorter time frame. If we actually do see it within the sort of the seven or ten day time frame, then we'll get very interested in it and see what is going to happen. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to enjoy this weekend as it's going to be very mild and dry. And hopefully the unsettled weather next week isn't too Bad. But of course, we'll have to see over the next few days what the UKV is showing for the precipitation next week. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.